All right, so now we're down at the bottom of page nine on the complex circuit practice problem. So this one, I just want you to find the equivalent resistance. So again, the first thing we need to do is we need to go look at that side video about what are the rules for smooshing these resistors together. And then we're gonna kind of have these sections where I pause it, you try and figure out what smushes together, redraw the picture, and then you'll play it again, see if you got it right. All right, so here we go, let's hit the side video. Ah, so you need a refresher on the rules. Let's refresh them quick. If you don't, just skip ahead a little bit. So when we want to reduce a circuit, we want to smoosh those parts together. The first thing you need to do is draw your circuit, identify your nodes. Your nodes are these places where you have three or more wires coming together. So identify those nodes. I like to just circle them in green here on the board. Step two, you need to look for series. So yes, I say step two and step three, and it is this order very much. Always look for series first, parallel second. So we're gonna look for series. Series is when I have multiple resistors between nodes. So I might take this upper path and I hit one resistor, two resistors before I get to the next node. Yes, those two are in series. When I go down this path, there is only one resistor along that path. So that is not a series. So whenever I identify a series, I need to combine or smoosh those together. So I would take those top two and I need to smoosh them together into a single resistor. Whenever you smoosh, whenever you combine, you always want to go back to step one. You want to redraw that circuit. Identify the nodes. Some of those nodes may have disappeared and they definitely will disappear when you're doing parallel combinations. So you go back to step two. Are there any multiple resistors along a single path? Nope. The reason I say is do step two again, uh, sometimes you miss a couple. So sometimes there might be three resistors in series. You only saw two of them. Um, so just go through that one step again. Step three, we're looking for parallel this time. That means we're looking for multiple paths with only one resistor per path. And this is between nodes. So when I go from this node to this node, I can either go up only one resistor on that path. I can go down, only one resistor on that path. In that case, those two are in parallel, so I need to combine or smoosh them together into a single resistor. Side video, There's so give it a shot. What's gonna go first? All right, we're back from the pause, so let's see what you did first. So the first thing I would say is, yes, right between those two, was ourselves a series. So go ahead, smoosh those together into a series. All right, see what you get next. All right, so you combine them together. What's gonna go on next? Pause it and figure it out. All right, so what goes next is, I see I have a parallel set here. I have one path, or I'm sorry, one resistor per path between those two nodes. And you'll notice I have three paths this time, so I'm gonna be adding three resistors in parallel. And I also have two resistors in parallel here. So we're gonna smoosh all those together and let's see what we get. All right, so assuming you've been working this correctly, you should have gotten 7.22 ohms when you smoosh those three resistors in parallel together and 27.7 ohms when you smooshed those two resistors in parallel. And the last step is series. You're correct. We are going to put all four of those together in series. Let's see what we get. A single 77.9 ohm equivalent resistance for that circuit. Now, if we were doing this the other way as we did the two before this, we would have to be working backwards through all that to find their currents and voltages for each of those resistors which is what we're going to do in the next one.